Greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So in previous videos, I've been talking about uh, the nonsense of limits and the brainless ideas of modern academics, modern math academics. So let's take a look at what this BS is about the epsilon delta definition. So this series that you see up here, series of A sub K said to converge to L according to, the de to their definition, if for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a capital N, which is part of the natural numbers, such, as a, such that a small N, which is greater than or equal to N, uh, implies that this difference is less than epsilon. Well, actually, this isn't entirely true. This N can be a little, it can be less than n provided it falls within, let's just see here, provided it falls within, let me write that down. So it has to fall between L minus epsilon and L plus epsilon. So let me show that to you. So for example, in this applet, uh, yes, as long as n is greater, it's okay, but it's also okay if n is a little bit smaller and falls within this region, okay? So if it's out of that region, whoops, then it's not okay, okay? Do you see that? So we can make this bigger like that or smaller. So it's not really a solid definition. Uh, by any stretch, it's not solid. It's brainless garbage. And to be honest with you, I've never met even a single mainstream academic who understands these things correctly. They simply don't. So then another thing, what does this mean? What does this even mean, this definition here? Let's go back to it, okay? Because you need to know how the wool is being pulled over your eyes. So they tell you this is the statement where S sub N is the nth partial sum. Well, it's wrong because of the first reason I told you. It does, it leaves that little part out where n can be less than n, right? Then the circular assumption happens now. This definition presupposes the existence of L, but L is supposed to be determined by the very limit process it defines, okay? This means you need to know this L. Otherwise, you have to guess it, okay? So how L is actually chosen? To verify the definition, one must already know L. In practice, L is assigned externally, typically by solving an equation, something of this sort, okay? So you could basically say hmm, that you have one third times one minus 10 to the minus N, so Let's say S of N is equal to that. Okay, so you try to find a value for which this term, it doesn't have to be QN, can be anything RN. This Q isn't the same as the difference value in the historic geometric theorem. So that this basically is true. And then you then what you do is you take a limiting process by saying this becomes very small, which means... <laughs> that M becomes very big, assuming that L exists, assuming that L exists. So why is this circular? Well, the limit definition is used to define the sum of an infinite series. Okay, that's the first part you need to remember. Second part is checking this distance requires already knowing L. If it requires already knowing L, it means it's circular. <laughs> The reasoning thus assumes the reasoning thus assumes that which it is trying to establish. So instead of actually summing infinitely many terms, mainstream mathematics assigns a value to the series by assuming a limit exists. This is not a derivation, but a circular justification. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, I've just shown you here, it doesn't matter how close you get there, as long as, you know, N is in, both of the Ns are in this region, in this region, okay? If you do that, 
then it's not okay anymore. Or if you move this guy right out and move this guy, whoops, out there, not okay, okay. Basically, as long as this guy, as long as one of them are in the region and N is bigger than SN, then it's okay. Or if both of them are in the region, then still, as long as this little N falls within this region here. This region here. Okay? I'm John Gabriel. And before I sign off, click like on my videos, become a subscriber, and follow me on academia.edu. Till next time, goodbye.